Thank you. You woke up, put on a gold chain, and you delivered gold for Kenya. Is, 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 that, is that what was going through your head when you were in the village, that I'm putting on a gold chain and I'm going to deliver gold for Kenya? Oh, actually, I knew everyone was tough. Oh, I mean, uh, my focus actually was actually to run the last 150 meters. If anything happens, because I never expected uh, the race to be slow. So I thought maybe we're going to run uh, the fastest time ever, but no one was willing to, to carry the cross in the fast 400. So uh, I did it. I mean, I controlled the, the pace, oh, did my pace, and uh, the Australian guy, Mr. Paul, tried to control the last day, three, I mean, like 300 meters. And I said to myself, let me just try to push the last day, uh, 100 meters and see if I will make it. So it worked. Uh, I never knew Fakasun and the other guy was behind me, so uh, I was just struggling to the line. Yeah. Um, actually, there was a little bit pressure from home. You know, everyone uh, was expecting something good. So Rudisha won in 2012, the same thing in 2016. And I was telling myself, I mean, is it possible? Will I make it? If this is going to be slow, then I will have to sprint the last 100 meters. And it worked. And now I have to call for me and my country and everyone who supported me. So I'm thankful for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Because the race was slow, I mean, so uh, if the race is too much slow for me, then I mean, I can now use the sprinting, uh, the speed that I have uh, to control it. And I mean, maybe I can say that worked it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe because, I mean, uh, he's been running uh, for quite long and he knows how it feels like, I mean, to run. So it's not just, I mean, I mean like talking about it, uh, like the other people who are criticizing the athletes. You know, you might walk up today, I mean, feeling, not feeling good. Uh, maybe you have an injury, maybe you didn't hit well, and so many other things, you know. And here, yeah, all athletes from the world are expecting, I mean, a medal. So they are also winners and they are also losers. So uh, it's unfortunate that most of our guys back at home, they support you when you win. But when you lose, they frustrate you. They start talking, I mean, negative things. And I mean, it's not good, actually. So I'm urging, I mean, the Kenyans, I mean, to be a little bit careful because they never know what will happen. So uh, I'm so happy, I mean, having this call. And I will try to inspire many others to do their best. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I crossed the line, I mean, I was alone, maybe I can't say. I just felt like someone was coming behind and that was routine. So uh, crossing the line, I mean, I felt like, I mean, maybe I'm in heaven or somewhere else, you know, <laughs> that happiness, yeah. You must be, would you dedicate it now to Kenyans, those who have been harder on you? Can you dedicate to them the gold medal, so? Sure. Oh, today, maybe to my daddy, he's been there for me. I mean, uh, cheering. I mean, and supported me all the way uh, since uh, I mean, being a kid up to now. So he's a special person to me. Uh, he took care of me. Now I'm a, an Olympian. I mean, uh, having this gold medal, I feel like yeah, I'm gonna honor him with the gold medal. Yeah. So uh, I'll just say, I mean. A uh, big thanks to everyone uh, who supported us, all athletes, uh, the cheering squad, and everyone, I mean, who was supporting us. I mean, there were those guys who uh, are just like, I mean, pouring some words uh, without thinking. So, I mean, uh, maybe to tell them uh, not to criticize athletes because they are the best coming here. And if they're feeling like they were the best, so let them, I mean, be ready to come for the next year Olympics. So <laughs> anyway, so I'm happy and I'm so thankful uh, to everyone back at home. Uh, now we have gold and let's pray for the other please to bring us gold again. Yeah. <laughs>